Hello friends, today you're going to be using words that you know to figure out new words. So let's look at the words on the left side of this page, some words that we know. Let me go ahead and draw a line to help us. All right, we're gonna be looking at the words over on the left side. What are these words? Think for a minute. I makes the sound I, eh, and S makes the sound S. Let's put those sounds together. Is. That is the word is. 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 Let's look at the next one at the bottom. I makes the sound I, and N makes the sound N. 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 So we know the word is and N. And if we know these words, it can help us to figure out a new word. Let's look over on the right side now. Think for a second if you know these words. If you don't know these words, I'm gonna show you a strategy that you can use to help figure them out. All right, so we know IS says is, so let's underline is. IS says is, and we know H says huh. So let's start over on the left side and read to the right. Let's start by making the H sound. Huh is, huh is. His. Let's look at the next one. So we know I N says N. Let's look at the word at the on the right side. We know I N says N. So that part of the word says N. And then we have a P sound. P says P. P. N. Pen. P. N. Pen. So knowing small parts of words can help you to figure out a new word. So anytime you get stuck on a word, look for the part that you know, the sounds that you know, and then make the other sounds that you don't know and put them together. Let's do another one. Look at this sight word. What is that sight word? That is the sight word too. Excellent job. T, oo. That o kind of makes the oo sound, but we know the t says t, t, oo, too. Let's look at a new word. Now this O is still gonna kind of make that O sound, but we have a new beginning sound. D, D, O, do, D, O, do. Excellent job. So today you guys are gonna practice using words that you know to help you figure out new words.